Hi, this video lesson will be about enabling and configuring the Windows firewall for um, XP systems. This video will focus on Windows XP systems and so uh, Vista and uh, Windows 7 will be in a uh, different video. So uh, to uh, start up, what is a firewall? A firewall is basically a software program that helps keep your computer more secure. It restricts information that comes to your computer from other computers and uh, it also gives you control over programs on your computer that tries to connect to the network or internet. You can think of a firewall as a barrier that checks the information which is uh, also known as traffic that comes from the internet or from a network. Now um, although Windows firewalls turn on by default some computer manufacturers uh, may turn it off. To uh, get to uh, the settings and to check on your Windows uh, firewall for Windows XP, simply click on Start and then click on the option for Control Panel. Now, in my case, uh, I'm uh, in a uh, category view. Um, if uh, ever you might uh, want to check out the classic view which gives you a different way of uh, opening up Windows Firewall by you know just clicking on the Windows Firewall icon here now uh, going back to the category view um, click on uh, under the category view click on the security center and then on the uh, window for security center scroll down a bit and uh, under manage security settings click on Windows Firewall now when click, click on Windows Firewall it will give you the uh, Windows uh, firewall option and uh, there will be three tabs running on the top uh, by default will be placed on the general tab and uh, on the general tab you'll have there uh, three options the uh, first one is on now the uh, next one is off and uh, under on there's an option there for uh, don't allow exceptions don't allow exceptions uh, you enable this if uh, you're connected to a public network like hotels cafes airports and you know such this setting will block all requests to connect to your computer uh, and uh, enabling this feature will also block programs that are even listed on your exception list from uh, connecting to your computer it will also block discovery of network devices file sharing and uh, printer sharing now uh, click on the exceptions tabs okay the exception tab will let you add a program service or port exceptions to permit certain types of inbound traffic to a program on your computer you can set a scope for each exception by clicking on change scope or if the program is already on the list by clicking on edit among the four buttons on the bottom part of the uh, list of uh, program services window so uh, let's add a program here in uh, my end um, so I'll just click on add a program and uh, let's pick uh, Calibre as the, uh, an ebook management software as to add to the exception list so you see there Calibre is uh, already added now uh, when you click on uh, Calibre okay uh, let's remove it first when you uh, click on caliber uh, being added to the list and uh, we need you want to change the scope for this program just click on caliber and then click on edit and uh, you'll see the uh, change scope option okay so uh, change scope will uh, give you three settings um, any computer and uh, network my network your subnet network or your cust uh, custom list these are actually a uh, very advanced option so uh, just leave them alone and which is out of scope of this uh, video uh, video guide now uh, we don't I don't really need ca caliber uh, on my list so I just uh, like to you know, delete this program and click on yes alright okay now um, the uh, advanced tab is uh, will give you more options for the Windows firewall setting um, as you can see here, uh, the first one is the network connection settings. Uh, this will indicate whether Windows Firewall will monitor the, that connection or not. So in case that uh, you have two connections here, local area connection and two, um, 
if there's a check mark on it that means that it will be checked by windows firewall if there's no check mark on local air connection 2 if you have one here then it won't be uh, monitored by windows firewall now the uh, following two settings security login ICI, um, icmp are just basically uh, a way to log information uh, about your windows firewall for troubleshooting purposes the first one will be just locally based on your computer uh, and uh, ICMP will allow you to share the error and status information of your Windows firewall. Among the features here, the most important uh, to consider is the restore defaults. When, you, uh, have, when you're having trouble or uh, somehow you made configuration ch uh, changes which are blocking you from connecting to the internet or to a device, uh, this, uh, this button will restore your Windows firewall to its uh, recommended state it will uh, wipe out your uh, specific or custom settings for Windows Firewall. So uh, that's it for uh, the basic view of the Windows Firewall system. So uh, thank you.